Okay, welcome. It is Ilala here with the Milani makeup application from start to finish. Never used it before. I think I've gotten some Milani maybe lipstick or maybe blush a long time ago, but I've never really bought their product and I'm not sure why. I bought e.l.f., I bought NYX, Revlon, uh, L'Oreal, um, what is it, Maybelline, but I've never done those all product together from start to finish and I'll have to do those too because some of those are my favorite but Milani has had a great reputation they are budget friendly now when you buy all this stuff at one time it was a little pricey it was $76 for all of these products I got one two three four five six seven eight nine yeah nine products so the, the most expensive was the uh, mascara, the $13.99, but the makeup I think was $11.99. Um, this little gorgeous palette, I, I'll show you as I use them, but I am doing everything except for the skincare. I did my Alaskan Glacial Essential skincare, and hopefully you've watched that video. I will link it to that stuff, is amazing. Okay, so what I'm gonna start out with is a primer, but I'm using a little additional primer. This one is by Smashbox. It's supposed to get rid of the red. I still have quite a red nose and cheeks, so I use a little bit of that to cover that blushiness. And it's it's a wonderful primer too. And then I purchased the Lani Skin Quench Hydrating Primer full of goodness, very quenching. And this was, I think, can you see it? I can't tell. Uh, I will link everything in the description below. So this is very hydrating. It's supposed to be very silky. All right, so I'm just going to, it's a white cream. Interesting. Not a gel, it's a cream. Probably got too much. Feels kind of thick. Ooh, has an odd smell. All right, so I'm going to put it in the same places. I like to turn my mirror over and make sure I've got it didn't say anything about um, pore reducing. I don't have big pores, so I attribute that to all the new, or all the skincare I'm doing. Feels a little tacky. And then next, I'm going to go to um, their makeup. Now, I've never tried their makeup. I think the makeup was $11.99 as well. Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation Concealer in 05A Natural Beige. And I use a sponge, a damp sponge, because the brushes just don't do me justice. I'm going to turn this this way so I can see in my little mirror. I'm going to shake it up good. All right, I got it nice and shook up. It's got a nice little lip on it. I'm going to put it on my couple of pumps. There it is. It's not real runny. Um, so I'm going to take that. And I'm going to do on my cheeks and nose first. I said my cheeks and nose first. And then what do I do? Go all over. Okay. Just kind of. I don't like real full coverage makeup. You know, I want to look. I don't want to look like a pancake. But I do like it to cover. So I'm going to do another little dabble do you. Start out little. Start out with little dabs. Do it really fast. This way. I watch people do that. I guess they kind of speed up when they're editing. I'll do it this way. Because if I speed up while I'm editing, oh no. All right. Okie doke. Then, since it is a concealer too, I'm going to take my little concealer brush because I like, I have on my eyes, I have discoloration and veins show through and it's crepiness. Crepey, crepey. So I'm going to put just a tad there on my and dip in my brush and then I'm going to put it on my eyes. I don't use a primer. That's kind of orange. I think I got way too much. Way too much to help soak up too much if I did too much. You see? Okay, not bad. Yeah, I don't need primer. I think that a good concealer is enough. All right, now while that is kind of setting, I have the Milani Conceal Perfect Blur Out Powder. It's in translucent. Never tried, I've never tried any powder but Laura Mercier. 
my little trial size lasts forever. So I open this and it has this little black thing that you lift up. And then I will take my little, uh, I take a little fluff, fluffy brush to uh, put some powder on my eyes so that it doesn't sit in my wrinkles. Because lordy lordy, at 66 pickup sticks, you have wrinkles in your eyes. And I had tried using, um, you know, stuff on my eyes to help with the wrinkles and all it does is just irritate my eye. There isn't anything I could, oh, something fell. There's a lot of noises in this room. And then I wanna show you this palette, this Milani Gilded Mini palette in It's All Rosé. All right, let me show you this. Oh, the colors are, they are my colors right up my alley. Yeah, and I touched them to make sure they weren't real, you know, how much pigment 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 they have so I didn't over pigment my eyes I, I like less is more so I'm gonna start out with this little terracotta it says rose it doesn't give you the colors of each one but this little one here right there okay and I have a little flat brush I really like it I don't know what kind it is I just grab sets here and there and then they seem to be glorious right now I'm going to dab it in here, shake, and then I'm going to come here. And I like to do my lid. I found, I'm finding ways that I really like to use, oh this stuff is beautiful. I like to do my hole, I do right up here, and I do here, I don't go on the inside, I just go, see, I'll zoom it in. And then I'll go around. This is a beautiful color. Okay. And then I take my fluff, fluff, my gruff brush, put it to the end, and do this just lightly. Okay. All right. That's my lid color. Then for my crease, and I love this little tiny fluffy brush like this. It's a small one. And I'm going to dip it in, ooh, this darker one here. Right there. So I'll dip, 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 dip. And then I go right in my crease. Right between. You got hooded eyes. It's, it's, uh, you got to make your crease higher so that you can see it. I, I'll have to do a video on that for my ladies that have the hooded eyebrows. And I go in the corner. See? And we'll clean up any mess we have. Boy, that's a those colors are gorgeous. Yeah, see, that's what I like. I like a nice, subtle eye. All right. Wow. That's a keeper. Okay. Now, in the inside, I take a little brush like this to go in the inside, and I'm going to take the, the white here on the end. I'm going to dip that in. And it's got kind of a little pointed brush, so I can go up under my eye under my eye, under my eyebrow. There you go. Oh, I need some more plucking. Jeez. Then I will take some more and do the inside. So I had, because I have a real cave in there and it turns blue. So I go in there just, you know, just a tad to lighten it up. Just lovely. That's all I can say. Okay. I, I like that. Yum. Okay. I turn around, make sure you turn around after being close and look back. Look up, look down, look all around. Okay, now while I'm letting that set up just a second, I have, and this is not um, by Milani, this is by uh, Morphe, Morphe, because I had my brows tattooed and there, there's always a little bit of area that it doesn't always take. But I love this little Mophie pencil and the little brush on the end. So I'll go and fill it in. I, I didn't want to buy a whole new one because this one, I found, I've done so many, you know, trying to get the perfect color for my eyebrows. So I'm just filling in. It gets a little sparse right here. So I just do that a little bit. I've got a wild, I've got a wild eyelash right there. 
It was an important one. So that's Mophie. I didn't get one of those, but I did get a uh, Milani water, well, it's a, it's a stay put eyeliner after dark. I only like most of this is in the water line, so we're gonna try this and see. I just have terrible luck with these things lately. Okay, I'm gonna hold my eye a little bit. I have a little nodule. I'm going right, I'm following the eyelash line. I make a little bit of a T in the corner, and we'll see how waterproof this is. Goes on lovely. Okay, try it on this side. ER. Okay, now let's just hold it there and see. Oh, I'm blinking and it's going down in my under eye thing. That's not good. I don't want it to transfer. So that might not be a keeper. All right, so I've done that now. We are going to do, while well, that says, I try not to blink because it's transferring, I am going to use Milani Number no. 3 Suntan Silky Matte Bronzer. I got it in this little suntan here. So I'm going to take my bronzer brush, dip it in there. All right, I've got to turn this around so I can see. And I'm going to do it where the sun kisses me. The sun likes to kiss me even if I don't want it to. I contour with the um, bronzer. Mm -hmm. It's a light, light color, a light color. Okay, and then blend. Pretty good. Not real dark, not really a good contouring. Oh, yeah, good job, me. Yeah, I'll find out all sorts of weird stuff on me when I'm doing this. Don't notice it till I come back and watch it. Then I will take my little nose brush to contour. See, your nose is running now. Go down my nose so that my schnoz will look a little less, you know, schnozzy. <laughs> okay. Now, what do we have next? Okay, so I did the um, eye stuff. I think it's said enough. I've done the bronzer. Where is the mascara? So, so let's check. I like... Okay, nice little brush, like a so. So then I... Mascara. It does the best for me. It's okay. I'll tell you that my eyelashes are amazing since I've been using that Revitalash uh, mo uh, moisturizer uh, conditioner on my eyelashes at night. It's very expensive, but boy, I'm telling you, my lashes look amazing. Even when I'm not wearing mascara, it looks like they've grown, but I think they're just thicker. Okay, I'm gonna let that first coat kind of set a second. I will try the blush I got from Milani. And this is a blush lipstick combo. And this is their new line, Supercharged. Hands are all dirty. This color is Spicy Jolt. You can see it. It's a cool little tube. All right, so this is cheek. So what I'm gonna do with the cheek is I'm gonna do a little dab. Oh, pretty color. And I have a little sky, a, a striated, styrated, straight. I know, Chloe. Uh, that works really good for blush. That's a pretty color. I like it on my uh, banana. I think I'll try it with the brush this time this way. Let's see how that will go on. Oh, it's creamy to the touch. Oh, yeah. Oh, cream. Lovely. I like the color. Not too much. Okay, and then it'll be for the lips when I'm done. I really like the um, the um, the little mini palette there. I think I'm gonna powder me. Although you know this makeup is not glowy at all. I don't really think I need powder, but 
to be fair with this, I'm gonna take my big fluff fluff McGruff and just go in the areas that air area in the areas that tend to um, shine up. And it's hotter than a well digger's arse in January right out there. Okay. Now I have to fix up my eyes. Now that we did the mascara, even though I am gonna do some more of the mascara, I am going to take the um what you call it again? You know the what you call it, the makeup since it is a concealer, and put just a little dab on my finger, put it on here, finger, on my hand, and then I'm gonna go right here. Okay. Just to where I have, you know, but you will need to come down if you're placing it under your eye then I will take my sponge and dab. I fluff left my gruff. You need to have a little bit of powder to keep it from creasing under your eyes. So, a little dab will do you. It's cool how it uh, has the uh, this little it's like a mesh over it so you just dip into it so you don't, you know, spill it out. Okay. Okay. What do you think? Oh! You haven't done my lips. For the love of Mike. Alright, so I got this Milani Nude um, lip liner. Color Statement Lip Liner Nude. Three Nude. Got a nice little sharp point on it. Let's see how I do there. I've not been lucky with nudes. Oh, I also have to make sure, because I use a plumper on my lips. So I want to make sure that's off. I like to cover my lips with some makeup. It helps the lips go on. <laughs> okay, ready? Am I too low? Okay. Oh, it's very nude. Very subtle. I'm used to more of the mauves and plum colors. It's just always been my favorite. When I decided to get a, a lips tattooed, I had a plum. It was beautiful. Won't do that again. That was insanely painful. Okay. I'm going to use, again, this little um, blush lip combo. And it's, I said, Spicy Jolt. Very nudish. Goes on like butter. Mm. Okay. Now this is a very subtle everyday look. So I think I'm liking Milani. I think it's lovely. I th I would like to try um, another product from start to finish. If you would. Give me some suggestions on what you'd like to see because it is wonderful. You can get a product line that you can stick with that has everything you want. I like the lip and cheek combo. That color is pretty, nice and subtle. I think I picked the colors well. Well, I am happy. I'm happy. I think overall it was great. All right. Be blessed. Be gorgeous in your natural way. Wear sunscreen. Wear a hat. Be kind to yourself, exercise, hydrate. Thank you, everybody. Lala out.